Welcome to the AI Research Roundup. I am Alex, and today we're looking at a paper from the Papers with Code trending list, published on the 9th of June, 2025. The paper introduces a new model that consistently outperforms existing methods for song generation on both objective and subjective metrics. The paper is titled, Levo, High Quality Song Generation with Multi-Preference Alignment. So, the big challenge in AI music is getting everything to sound good together. You know, the vocals, the instruments, the overall musicality. This paper introduces a framework called Levo to tackle this. It uses a special language model that processes music in two ways at once, both as a combined track for better harmony and as separate vocal and instrument tracks for higher quality. To make the music even better, they use a technique called direct preference optimization, which is a way to fine tune the model based on what humans actually prefer to hear. It's a really interesting approach and we'll see how it all comes together. And for those of you who want to dive in and try generating some music yourself, the good news is that the code for this work is public. The repository has everything you need, including the trained model checkpoints and scripts to run the generation. They've even included a helpful script for low VRAM setups and guides on formatting your lyrics. So it's a great resource if you want to experiment with the model directly. All right, so figure one gives us a great visual for how this whole Levo system works. On the left, you see the inputs. It takes lyrics, but also optional prompts like a text description, say female voice, hip hop, melancholic. These text inputs are processed by a BPE tokenizer, which just breaks the words down into smaller pieces for the model. The main language model, or LLM, then generates two sets of new tokens in parallel, the mix tokens for overall harmony and the dual track tokens for high quality detail. Finally, a codec decoder turns all these generated tokens back into the final audio waveform. Okay, so this figure zooms into that LLM component we just mentioned, showing how it works internally. You can see two main layers. The bottom is the language model, predicting those mixed tokens for overall harmony. The really new piece is the AR decoder on top. AR stands for autoregressive, which is a way of generating a sequence step by step where each new piece of music is based on what came just before. This autoregressive decoder uses the language model's internal memory, called the LM hidden status, to create the high quality dual track tokens. And notice that delay step, it lets the autoregressive decoder peek a little into the future of what the language model is planning, giving it richer context for better sound. So we've seen how the main Lee LM model generates those mixed and dual track tokens. This figure shows the music codec, which is the component that turns audio into those tokens for training and then turns the model's generated tokens back into a song. On the left, the encoder uses a method called residual vector quantization, which is a way of compressing complex audio into a simpler, tokenized format. Then on the right, the decoder uses a diffusion transformer to reconstruct the audio. This powerful generator starts with noise and gradually refines it into a detailed representation, which a final variational autoencoder decoder then converts into the high fidelity audio waveform. That's a look at Laveau. The key takeaway here is really its clever dual track approach, using a language model for the big picture harmony and that specialized autoregressive decoder for the fine details. This allows for incredibly high quality song generation that can actually follow complex text prompts. It's a big step forward for creative AI tools. Thanks for tuning in to the AI Research Roundup. I'm your host, Alex, and I'll see you next time.